you know, Naked Ant Housing Ventures is a indigenous led supportive housing agency that provides supportive housing to those with complex needs. Uh, our residents are normally of indigenous ancestry and we have a number of different buildings that provide different levels of care and support, but we always lead with love and we always do our best to support our residents as much as possible and Omamu is just one of our um, wonderful programs where we support families. Uh, so it's, you know, a very different, unique program where we just want to make sure that children, youth, families are supported as much as possible by putting inside the building mushrooms and cookums and aunties and uncles and surrounding uh, the families with a community so that they can uh, successfully stay together, basically. At Omamu Wangugumik, we are the uh, Niganan Housing Ventures fa uh, Family Reunification Building. Um, our purpose here is to bring families together to create a community that will stand as a family um, in lieu of absent family members. Um, our focus is children, always children and youth. If we build children and youth through parental reunification, then we're strengthening children and youth. We're preparing them for what's coming ahead with the support and the love of their family and their surrogate family, which is the community we are building here at Omamu in Gugamek. I think that pro probably started with uh, Carola Cunningham <clears throat> and her seeing a need for more varied continuums of care with the people we were serving. We were seeing gaps. Certainly youth is a, a very large gap that is it's being focused on quite strongly right now. And we saw that need for family reunification. My background came from CSD and, and Children's Services where Indigenous children have uh, for a very long time been overrepresented. What is, what is needed and what is missing is family, is that connection to family, community, and land. And that was not being addressed in any way. Children were coming out of 18 years in foster care and not knowing what a family is. And, and, and that's very important in Indigenous culture. And, and, and we lead by example, and we show that in all our buildings and certainly here at Omamu. So Nigga has been very involved with an agency in Edmonton called the Youth Agency Collaboration or YAC. You know, YAC was created purely because there's such a gap in services for youth. Uh, they don't always fit the housing first model. A lot of times their needs are seen as temporary, but they can be urgent and they can be severe. And, you know, we believe that dealing with Youth homelessness prevents chronic adult homelessness. So that's why we continue to work together as agencies in Edmonton in order to fill those gaps as much as possible. And Nigadan's always a strong believer in that. I know that the dream and the vision uh, came from Carola Cunningham. I've had many conversations with her about youth and children. And I know how she feels about family reunification. And, and that was the dream for families to come together, supported by Indigenous people in a culturally appropriate way that offered opportunity and learning and family to those that don't have those, those pieces. So th that's where Omamu was born out of, was that need for family reunification and that chronic over-representation of Indigenous kids in care who were getting absolutely nothing of what they needed in a culturally heart-centered way. So collaboration on an outside level, outside of our agency, is absolutely essential to the team. We couldn't do the work we do here without outside collaboration. We need different perspectives. We need different points of view. We need all of those folks at the table. And the child is in the center of everything we do. So who's going to be able to support this family? Well, she seems to really like this elder, you know, we will build a team around the mother or around the family. Also, I want to add just a few things about our partnerships, because we do have a lot of great partnerships right at home as our partner in the building. Alberta Health Services is a very strong partner with Naganan, where we have a mobile healthcare team that also will come to Omamu as needed. We have a partnership with PDD Services, where we have um, PDD workers that will work with those that have capacity issues to live independently in the community. 
And we also have our funders such as Homer Trust and um, Red Road Healing Society and Alberta Health Services and PDD. And then we also have a number of donations as well that allow us to do the work we do. Partnerships, collaborations are just so essential to what we do. Uh, you know, as in Indigenous people in Edmonton, you know, we, we rely on those partnerships in order to be successful. And thankfully, we have been just so gifted with a number of great people that we get to work with all the time. I would say the biggest lesson I have learned is always remain open, honest, and willing. You never know where change is going to come, where hope is going to land, and nurturing those, those mustard seeds and just keep doing the work and keep giving the love is integral. Yeah, and I was going to say, I, I really, I think what I've learned from everyone at Niganan is that you have to lead with love and leading with love means having acceptance, accepting people for where they are in their lives and how you can best support them where they are in their lives. Having ex expectations of people being somewhere else is never going to work with this type of environment and this type of programming. So leading with love is number one. Also, Niganan Housing Ventures operates on the four natural laws, honesty, sharing, kindness, and strength. And Everything that we do, we ask ourselves, are we being kind? Are we being honest? Are we sharing? Is this, are we showing our strength? And we are always using those four natural laws for different reasons. So that would be my biggest advice is make sure that as an agency or a community that you have your core beliefs, your core values, and that you're able to go back to that. And if you're able to use Indigenous culture as your model or your center, then you're going to be a lot more successful with Indigenous people. That's just reality. There's there's really no other way to put it. Here at Omamu, since I started in, in April of 2022, we have had 14 children return to our building. I have a few stories. <laughs> um, one that very very much resonates with me is we had a birth earlier this year of a of a, a young warrior, and the first time I have seen it, there was not a social worker waiting. Children's services was not there, and it was it was a, a beautiful experience. This single mother has come out of she joined us right out of the Edmonton Institution for Women. She had a small daughter that she's been reunited with that has come back into her care. Then she's an incredible mother. She has connected with other mothers in the building and is an auntie to many children. And with the birth of her son this year, Children's Services, she has not even been on the radar. So that child lives with her and her daughter. Family comes to town from Camrose all the time. She's deeply connected with her family. She's well over three years sober and loves her life. We have residents in the building that have come from other um, sites that have come from Ambrose Place and they've stabilized to the point they're ready to live independently. So there are stories where the children are successful and the families are successful and you see it on their faces and that's how I judge success. Mm -hmm.